you know we're not going to multiply this out. We're going to break out our exponent rules. Uh, wait a minute. All the bases are different. All the exponents are different. So I can't use any of my same base rules or any of my same exponent rules. Uh, are we going to have to make more exponent rules? Oh. When I see a problem I don't know how to do, one thing I like to do is try to turn it into a problem I do know how to do. So when I, I look at this, I see 3, 9, and 27. These are all powers of 3. So I can write each of these as a power of 3, so then all the bases will be 3, and then I can use my same base exponent rules. So I'll start by writing 27 is 3 cubed. So 27 cubed becomes just the cube of 3 cubed. And I'm going to do the same thing over here with the 9. 9 is just 3 squared. And now, all the powers have the same base. And I can use the exponent rules I already know. I don't need to make up new rules. So here we go, the cube of 3 cubed. Well, we know what to do there. Power of a power, we multiply the exponents. So 3 times 3 is 9. We're going to do the same thing over here. 3 squared, the square of that. Again, we multiply the exponents. 2 times 2 is 4. And that looks a lot easier. We can go ahead and combine these two. When we're multiplying two powers with the same base, we just add the exponents. 3 to the 4th times 3 to the 5th, that's a total of 4 plus 5, or 9 threes. And now we have 3 to the 9th divided by 3 to the 9th. You divide a number by itself, you get 1. And we're done. Hey, wait a minute. This is a little fishy here. 3 to the 9th divided by 3 to the 9th. We have a rule for that, too. That's the same base, so I can just subtract the exponents. And when I subtract the exponents, I get 3 to the 0. That's just weird. I mean, this should come out to be 1. What's up with that?